Evening guys, uh, out in the shop here. Gonna get started working on the Pro X R800. I had told myself that I was not going to be starting this project until I got done with all of my other projects. Uh, but I've got my Ultra is a part in pieces, my Edge X is a part in pieces, and plenty of other upgrades to do. But um, I ended up finding a person that would be willing to trade me the stock exhaust off of the Pro XR for the pipe that I want. So I'm going to be digging into this one a little bit early. Uh, I've been pretty notorious about not documenting what I've been doing and just kind of ripping and tearing into stuff. So I figured I'd give a quick walk around on this one before I start ripping and tearing too much and uh, make sure that I can kind of show what I started with. So I've been lucky enough to bring home this Pro XR. Uh, as you can see, it's a 04 Pro XR 800. Um, really nice straight body on it, uh, but it does have some items that are going to need some attention. Um, it's been extended to a 136, which I actually kind of like. Uh, I have a bunch of 121s and no extended tracks, so um, I actually do like that. It's got an SLP extension on it. I do believe I'm going to be swapping that out for a Trax USA so I can extend the HIFAX as well. Uh, so if you know anybody that's looking for an SLP extension or wants to trade, I'd be willing to. Um, it's got the 405 springs and it's got the big boy springs in it right now. Um, I weigh 150 pounds soaking wet, so I will probably be putting stock torsion springs in it and will likely be revalving all of the Walker Evans shocks in it. Uh, it does have all the original shocks in it, so pretty excited about that. Um, tunnel's going to need to be polished. I am kind of a stickler for that, so uh, I'll be wet sanding down the tunnel and polishing that, but you can see that it's, it's in pretty decent shape. It's not all pitted up or anything, um, but it, it definitely is going to need something to, to bring back the shine. Uh, covers off of it right now. I'm kicking around whether I have the, the heart to go ahead and cut out the tunnel to put an extra cooler in. Uh, I've done a couple other 800 sleds, but uh, we'll see how this one does first, maybe before I go and hack a big hole in it for the auxiliary cooler. Uh, seat's in really nice shape. Not a whole lot I've got to do there. Um, it had about an 8 inch extension on there. Joel, if you're watching it, I think we joked about this when I picked the sled up. Not quite tall enough for that, so I put the stock uh, handlebar extension back on it. And just going to do some cleanup up here. Just a real quick job, so I've got to tie up all the harnessing and clean up some hardware and whatnot there. Uh, hood and windshield and all that's in pretty good shape. Uh, the blacked out headlight cover. Uh, has been out its whole life, I think, and underneath it, the headlight is really scuffed up. So I'm either going to have to swap out the headlight entirely, the housing, or I'm going to have to do some serious wet sanding and polishing there. Um, I've polished a lot of the scratches out of the hood, so you can see the finish on the hood is actually really nice now. So I'm very happy and very pleased with how that's all turned out. Um, did some polishing on the radius rods, those came along nice. Uh, and then the springs and the shocks and all that are in really nice shape as well. So, uh, again, probably going to revalve the shocks for my weight. Um, it's got some nice slide dog skis on it, but we'll see how that turns out, if I like those or if I end up going with something else. Um, it's still got the original bumper on it. It's got the race bumper, but unfortunately you can see that the race bumper has taken its toll uh, on the belly pan from years of, of pulling on it. So I'm um, probably going to try either... Finding a gray belly pan, which is probably going to be like finding hen's teeth, or I'm going to try to plastic weld that, get some reproduction graphics, and put an edge bumper on it. Uh, it's got a nice skid plate, so the, the bulkhead is actually in really nice shape on this sled. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's actually really a straight chassis, aside from just the, the couple of boogers on the belly pan. Um, under the hood, the hood open here. Unfortunately, the motor has some issues right now. It's got an unknown failure on it, so we're going to have to go through and figure out if it's a top-end issue, bottom-end issue. Um, I know from the previous owner that one of the check valves is stuck, so I believe the bottom end is completely filled with oil right now. Uh, it's actually got a diaper under it right now because it's dripping oil all the way onto my floor. Um, so the bottom of the belly pan is a mess. It's full of oil, um, but it's actually got an Indy Dan bottom end in it. From indie specialties so i'm hopeful that the bottom end is decent um, from looking down the cylinders of the boroscope it's got coolant in one of the cylinders so i'm wondering if it didn't uh, munch a head gasket or excuse me munch an o-ring uh, and then eat up the, the mag side cylinder so we'll dig into it we'll figure it out uh, but regardless 
I'd rather deal with uh, fixing an engine than fixing a tweaked chassis. So um, this whole under hood area is going to get totally cleaned up uh, and everything's going to get taken completely apart and, and gone through. And I'll probably go eat OCD on cleaning and, and replacing and replating stuff that that needs it. But uh, for right now, I'm going to take the original exhaust off. I, I do know that this is the stock ceramic coated pipe on there uh, but I, I've had good luck with the hot seat pipe on my last Pro X 800 and that's what I'd like to put on it so I have an opportunity to trade even up um, and then I'm also going to be picking up from a local gentleman a stock muffler um, this one's got just an MBRP race muffler on there and I am not a brapper by any stretch of the imagination so I am going to be putting a stock muffler on it so hopefully a little bit more power with a little bit less noise, I'm gonna be planning to actually do some riding on this one and don't plan to have to wear earplugs like I'm gonna for the Ultra, which is gonna have PSI Mod Blasters on it, which is extremely loud. So I'm uh, gonna go through the whole thing. It's got a SLP air horn on it, I'm happy about that. It's got SLP pushing torque arms on it for PTO on the mag side. Uh, so it's got both sides. On that, so really happy there. It's got some really nice upgrades throughout, but uh, just overall, it's going to need some real good going through. I'll figure out if it ends up needing one or more check valves on it. Supposedly, it's got stainless valves in it already. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to give it a good once over. So this will be a long-term project. It's going to be uh, a summer project, but we'll see if I can't uh, keep everybody updated on it as we go through it and. Get this thing back on the trail. It doesn't run for like five years uh, since it had that engine failure. But uh, as soon as we get it up and running, this is going to be one of my primary trail riders. So, uh, yeah, really excited about it. It's got some cosmetic stuff I got to go through. Got some mechanical stuff. But uh, in the end, I think it'll all be worth it. So, appreciate it, guys. Take care and have yourselves a good one.